Regarding uh, these three drugs, which are still running, uh, roxolitinib, momolitinib and pacritinib, uh, roxolitinib very much reduces the spleen size, number one, and this has been proved in two phase three clinical trials, the COMFORT trials. And then we have again data from the PERSIS trial, which is the trial where patients were randomized between pacritinib and the best available therapy. And again, uh, symptom improvement in splenomegaly was reduced in a similar way to that what we know from roxolitinib, with one main difference, that in the pacritinib trial, patients with low platelets were allowed to be enrolled, while with roxolitinib, only pa uh, patients with platelets above 100 uh, were allowed to enroll. So this is an important difference in the trial. And then momolitinib, we still don't have the data of the clinical uh, phase three clinical trial. So we have only the data of the phase two trial. But on the bottom line, in terms of spleen reduction, I think the response is comparable. This is also similar for response in symptoms, and we have learned so much about symptoms in these patients the last year, and we know that these patients do not only have symptoms in terms of nights, sweats, fever, and weight loss, but also many other symptoms like fatigue, which very much negatively impacts the life of these patients. And my belief is that these JEK inhibitors have a really nice and great impact on quality of life in terms of improving these symptoms, especially fatigue. And again, as far as the data allow us to compare them, one could say that they are comparable in their efficacy.